When the URI started in 1960, the very first thing they had to do was bring in a range of different types of rice, which what they could use as the basis for creating improved varieties of rice. So they began by assembling a collection, initially up to about 10,000 varieties of rice in the first 10 years, which came from many other rice research programs around the world. And that then developed into a much larger scale collection by getting traditional varieties from many different countries around the world, by collecting the wild relatives of rice that have particular traits of potential value that aren't in the cultivated rice gene pool. And it built up to 80, 90,000 by the turn of the century, at the turn of the millennium, and has now grown to be 127,000 varieties. It's the most diverse collection in the world. It's the largest collection in the world. And we are used by people all over the world for a great variety of rice research objectives. We are here at our regeneration plots. So right now we have about uh, 4,000 accessions being regenerated. And this is the plot we already have started harvesting. From the field, on the same day of harvest, the materials are transported here in the initial drying room. This is about uh, 40 degrees centigrade and the materials will stay there here for three days. And the materials will be transferred to our equilibrium drying, which is uh, 10 to 15 percent relative humidity and 15 degrees centigrade. And then there, they will transfer the materials from net bags to paper bags. So these are the new harvest from the field and then we are verifying whether the materials harvested are correct. So these are the reference materials, we call it the seed file. And uh, we are comparing the harvest from the seed file. So this will guide the seed selection activities later. We are now here in our seed processing area and uh, at present they are processing the seeds for storage. They are selecting the bad ones and the good ones. So we will have a second stage drying. After we have attained the required moisture level, it is ready for packing. We are packing this for our active collection, the base collection and for duplicate storage which is being sent to Fort Collins, Colorado in U.S. and another one in Svalbard in Norway. We can never stop change. We're never going to stop climate changes. We're never going to stop diseases evolving. We have to keep the full range of diversity in the gene bank ready, in waiting to be used for adapting to whatever the current needs are.